that's okay. I'm about to drive away and they don't know who I am. And I realized. <laughs> but anyway, whoo, come on, bitch, get yourself together. And I just couldn't help myself. It was a sour rack and I just, I wanted, I, no reason. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I am getting some tattoos. I can't even pretend to be excited. <laughs> I love how I'm trying to act as if I haven't been freaking out for the last week. I don't know, I'm in a mood. I've been in a mood lately where I'm not sure if I like tattoos, uh, which isn't true. I do like them and I will continue to get them, but I'm just in a weird funk and I don't know what's going on. But I think the main reason why I'm having these doubts is because I'm considering getting a hand tattoo, which I know like it, there's a lot of issues. I'm actually, I need to go now. So we'll talk about it in the car. Here's my concerns. I am all for hand tattoos. Like, I think they look sick. I, I feel like in this day and age, it doesn't affect what jobs you want. And quite frankly, I am the type of person that if you don't give me a job because of the way I look, then I don't want to work there anyway. I know that sounds really privileged. <laughs> and sort of like, oh, what if you need a job? I feel like I can get by if I've got a stupid hand tattoo. And mind you, I've had managers that have had hand tattoos. So I feel like these days it just doesn't matter. That's not my concern. My concern is my family. Oh, and you're moving. I know straight up my family will not approve. And mind you, I've been doing shit that my family haven't approved for God knows how long. You just, you can't please everyone, but it's the constant, nagging and sort of just like them trying to make me feel bad or I, like they're not trying to make me feel bad they just you know they have a certain idea of what their kids are supposed to be like look like how they're supposed to get by in life which I totally understand and I feel like my I feel like my parent I think my mum's used to me getting tattoos my mom's probably watching this so hi mom um, <laughs> <laughs> She's probably like ready to pick up the phone and call me being like, what did you do? I'm not sure if I'm doing it yet. So I feel like my mom will show her disapproval and, you know, maybe make a comment here and there, but then she'll let it go. But my dad, he still comments about my nose piercing, which mind you, isn't that noticeable. I guess a hand tattoo would probably be more noticeable than a nose ring. But I just realized I'm at a really big intersection, like right in the middle of it, trying to turn and people are watching me talk to a camera. That's okay, I'm about to drive away and they don't know who I am. My dad, on the other hand, will not let it go. I know that already. And that's just, I don't know. For those who have parents like this, will understand that it doesn't damage your relationship, but it doesn't help your relationship. That sounds, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find the words for it, but I just know it's not gonna go down well. I just know that there will be disapproval and disappointment, and I don't like disappointing them, but it's my body. But I'm like, should I just wait a couple of years and then get it? Because I'm even unsure. That's my whole dilemma on the hand thing. It's literally just, I don't know if I actually want it and I'm not gonna get something if I'm unsure. So I'm probably leaning towards not getting it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her to put the stencil on, see if I like it and then we'll decide. But yeah, I think one of the main things that's pulling me back from doing this is the whole family situation, which hasn't usually stopped me before, but I don't know, maybe I'm like maturing or, you know, withering down with my old age. Which, by the way, speaking of old age, I'm turning 22 soon. I'm ready for 22. Mind you, this rant's nearly over. I'm ready to turn 22. I, I can feel it. I can feel that that's my age. I used to feel like this all the time. Because my birthday so late in the year, and especially when I was in school, all my friends would be turning this age. By the time it got to my birthday, it would be like, oh, happy, you know. 16th birthday and I'm like yeah I've been 16 for like months like in my being in my mind and soul I was already that age but then I hit 18 and 18 crept up on me like I turned 18 and I was like yeah okay I feel 18 but I didn't feel it the months leading up and then on my 20th and my 21st didn't feel that age at all was so disconnected from that age which like may sound really bizarre to be connected to an age but it's been my entire life my entire life I've always felt older than I am and then to suddenly feel like it was slowing down to the point where I didn't feel that age and I was scared to become that age like scared to get older it was bizarre but I'm happy to report that I now feel ready for 22. So hopefully we're getting back into that because I don't want to be that person who's scared of age. Age is nothing. Age means absolutely nothing in your life, career, family plans, any of that shit. 22. 22 feels good.
back and we are yatted. <laughs> that was a whirlwind of emotions for me. Um, <laughs> Mel was great. She's so lovely and like the studio space is so cool. You would have seen it's in like a clothing store. Super chill, like there was dogs running around which I freaking love. But yeah, just like whew. Um yeah, just all over the place in the motions. As you saw, I was iffy about the hand tattoo. I did in fact get it. Which I am happy about that. There's like there's no regrets. Regret is not one of the emotions we're feeling. I don't know, I just I'm not feeling the joy that I wanted to feel, which sounds bad, but it's I think I just need to sit with them for a bit. But here's what I got. <laughs> we'll start with the first one I got. I originally wanted to get this font for Vienna. Vienna is obviously a place, but it's also one of my favorite Billy Joel songs that means a lot to me and has helped me so much in some pretty tough times. Um, and I just, I love the meaning of the song and I carry it with me and every time that it finds me, it finds me when I need it. Um, which is pretty special and also I just, Billy Joel's my favourite artist, like I just love him and I get to see him in concert this year which I'm like so excited. But I did think I wanted this font, not here, this is where we were considering it because I didn't like it where I wanted it, which was here, which is where I did get the one I got but it just looked too blocky and I didn't really like it and it was too dark for where it was and so in the end I was like oh I remember seeing a photo of another tattoo that you did in a similar spot and I'm pretty sure it was in your handwriting like can you just do that so she goes away and she comes back and she's like how's this I'm like oh my god that's perfect so yeah it's like super simple super fine line and just like fits that part of my arm so much better so incredibly happy with that that's turned out way better than I imagined the other one I got was was my little jack of hearts and this is another meaningful one I weirdly got all meaningful ones which I haven't done in a while but this is for my, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. this is this is the emotions that I was keeping in throughout my appointment yay me <laughs> get to experience it on my own in my car in a parking lot this is for our little girl um, Fucking Jesus, I need to go to therapy and not get tattoos. Um, <laughs> has anyone seen that TikTok? It's like, I should go to therapy and get a tattoo instead. Um, that is me. But anyway, whew, come on, bitch, get yourself together. I'll come back to the reasoning in a sec. Um, and then, of course, I got my hand tattooed that says Dibini. Um, so these are both very meaningful to me because Dibini and J, which is for Juno, is um, our puppies, our beautiful, beautiful dogs, who we lost at the start of the year. Wow, I suck. <laughs> I suck at this. Um, Dibini we lost first. He had a heart condition and he was the love of my life. He was my child. He was my baby. And you would have seen in videos previously like how much it hurt me to not be living with him and because my parents moved away and took him with them which like I get but you would have seen that I was really keen to move out so that I could you know be in a place where I could live with a dog and that I could take him back um and unfortunately I was too late um and he developed this heart condition and could only go on for so long so he passed away just after his seventh birthday which is too young like that's half a life anyway that's the bitty. Um, and then our family dog Juno, uh, like probably not even a month later, maybe like a couple of weeks later, disappeared. We don't have any answers. We don't know if she ran away, which she's not like, we, anyway. We don't know if she ran away. We don't know if she was stolen, which is definitely, um, definitely something that we have considered and yeah we just we just don't know anything so she could be alive and well she is I have a belief that she is with a good family and they're looking after her she's just that kind of dog that if she did run away she'd just find a new family and be fine these were for my babies that's enough from me right now <laughs> Such a pia. You're definitely crooked. Oh well. I've been home for a while now and I realize <laughs> so leaving that in. I realized I didn't show you what else I got. So again, as you were saying, it was a clothing store with a tattoo studio at the back. And I just couldn't help myself. It was a sale rack and I just I wanted I, no reason. I wanted to spend more money apparently. I got this super cute Lee shirt that's this like electric blue which I don't have. It's actually looking way more blue in the camera than it is in person. I thought that would be cute and also it'll go with the pants that I'm wearing. And I'm about to go out to a friend's place. So 
I think I'm gonna wear it tonight. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen that I was struggling to find like an oversized t-shirt that was gonna go with these pants. And I found it. The fabric's so nice. I love Lee t-shirts. But yeah, this is it. I am I reckon it goes so well with these. And I just, you can never have too many t-shirts. But yes, I'm gonna go over to Harry's. We're gonna go take the dog for a walk. And then I'm gonna have a, a little Mexican feast night, which I'm so excited for. Hello! Hello! <laughs> you go for a walk? You go for a walk? Oh, you're so gorgeous. Okay, just put it on backwards. Okay. <laughs> no wonder she was walking funny. Okay, and then... Yeah. Oh, just oh wait, wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> she was like, go time? I knew she'd All right, now you can go. <laughs> oh, look how much better that oh, yeah. <laughs> She's not walking on an angle now. Oh, cool. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> you really took me out. Ready, go! Go, go, go! <laughs> go, go, go! Just came out of the art show, it was so cool, like, and so affordable. I mean, it's called the Affordable Art Show, but it was the last day, and they were saying that every single day it's been different because people buy their artwork, which is so cool. And we were seeing like all these red dots of previous artworks which had been sold, and there's people all around Australia who have come to Melbourne for this art show, and yeah, just like the different types of art, which was so cool, and yeah, I'm just, oh, I love art so much and I'm so glad that I'm choosing activities that involve art and get me back into sort of that scene and everything like that. And oh, it was just to walk through it, you know, slowly. Like I spent two hours there, which was insane, but highly recommend if it's out of Melbourne now, that was the last day. But if it's coming to your state, you must go. It is such a great experience and you get to talk to the artists or the people who are selling the artwork and you learn about the artists and everything like that. So, so cool. Now, I'm gonna jump on the tram. Update, I realized I left my Mikey at home. I got a lift in and of all things to bring, I didn't bring my Mikey. So, thank God there's a 7-Eleven on every single corner because I'm gonna have to buy a new one. Guess you can never have too many of these. <laughs> Do you reckon I can make it? Or not? That could have been a car crash.